What is up Reef Fam? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the update on the Euphelia in my tank and I'm going to give you a closer look. I'm going to give you the name and where I got them and how long I've had them. So enjoy this video. <music> Alright, so I'm going to be doing some walking and talking with the camera in my hands, so sorry if there's any bumping or noise in the video. Now, I'm going to start with the first torch or first Euphelia that I got, and it is this Todd's torch, people are calling it. It is a green endo torch with blue tips. It's currently three heads. Um, one of the heads is splitting into three, and I picked this up at my LFS. Um, it's doing great. It's been growing a lot and it's super happy all the time. The next torch is right next door to him. It's his neighbor. It is my big daddy dragon. That's what I call it, but it is a endo dragon soul torch. Currently it's about five or six heads. I picked this up from a WAMAS member and the funny thing is, is that I didn't even know that it was a Dragon Soul torch. I knew it was an Indonesian torch. It had bluish green tips with green leading down, but it wasn't until it got underneath the stable parameters of my tank and underneath my LEDs that it morphed and had all this gold in it. And yes, it is just one of my favorite torches in this tank. Next up underneath of that is an Indonesian torch. People are calling New York Knicks and other people are calling it an Indo rain rainbow. I'm sorry, an Indo rainbow. So this torch I picked up from a buddy of mine off of Instagram. His name is Salty Dog. You might know him from Instagram. He has some fire in his frag tanks. I've had this torch for about nine months it was a double head frag and now it has it's still two heads but one of the heads looks like it wants to go ahead and split into three and it's super happy and it's doing great underneath of these three torches is my next torch it is a aussie tsa is calling it an grim reaper torch and this thing is a single head it is super fat it has three mouths but it hasn't split yet and i picked this up from a lfs and i've had it for about nine months now next up with this ginormous sweeper is a frammer i picked up from a good buddy of mine jim he's on instagram and on youtube he's better known as telegram and thanks buddy for this amazing framer it is doing great it's super happy and look at those sweepers that's what really just blows my mind is the length of that sweeper back there it's crazy i had to move it back here because where i had it it was burning up everything but back here can't burn up nothing and it's doing great on down here is a aussie torch it has yellow tips. I'm not sure if it has a name or if anybody's calling it a name, but it's just an Aussie yellow tip. And it is two heads. I've had it for eight months, I think. And I got, I got this torch from Salty Dog as well. Um, it's been super happy and it's been growing like crazy. Now the next one up here is another Aussie torch and this little guy for some reason is just not doing too happy um, I don't know what it is um, it's just not happy and it isn't receding but it isn't growing it just it, it just looks blah to me but it is a Aussie torch with a green mouth and orange tips I hope this little guy turns around it's looked like this for about three months now, and I don't know. I really don't know. I picked this up from Salty Dog as well. 
I got it the same time I got the Aussie yellow tip and they're about in the same par and about getting the same flow, but I don't know. I've dipped it and I've dipped it several times and no change. It still just looks unhappy. Let's go on over here to this side since we're talking about Salty Dog. Here's another torch I picked up from Salty Dog. The moment I seen it, I had to have it. It was um, this torch. I don't think it has a name. It has bright green tips with a darker green polyp. And it's currently two heads. And one of the heads is splitting into three. And it is doing happy. It is just, it's just doing good. Um, yeah, like I said, I got at the same time I got um, this Aussie torch, these two Aussie torches, and it's doing great. Let's move on up here to this big Aussie toxic green hammer. I have had this for a while now. I picked this up from a local um, Richmond Reef Club member and he had, I, I'm not even over exaggerating, this colony was bigger than my head. It was ginormous. And when I got it, it was about eight heads and he gave it to me for $5. Um, and it has grown to what you see now. I think it's well over 18 heads and it's really time to frag it because it's it's shadowing other corals and they're they're not getting enough light and it's it's a shame because it's so beautiful but it has really outgrown its space coming down here I have a bicolored frog spawn that I picked up from my LFS and I've had this for a while and currently it is about seven heads and it's just growing and doing great. These two heads are kind of unhappy because this clownfish right here has hosted to it. And I don't know, for, the, for some in particular reason, those two heads are the heads that it's always rubbing against. So they're always mad. Um, I don't know. It's not dying and it hasn't died. They're just, they don't stay as full as the other because the fish is always messing with it. All right, so last but not least, the piece that is the best that I think of all my euphilia, the fire in my reef tank, the creme de la creme, the best of all is this holy grail torch. It is just ridiculous. And this torch came from a good buddy of mine, Murphy's Aquatics. He's here on YouTube, and he is also on Instagram. I picked this up this year from Reefapalooza, New York, and I picked it up as a single head. It has already split into two, and this torch really just sets off my reef. Um, it is crazy gold about the goldest holy grail I've ever seen. It is always happy and it is just my absolute favorite. Don't let my dragon soul know, but I think I might love it more than the dragon soul. And I really don't think my torch collection would be what it is without this torch. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And I hope you enjoyed this little update of the euphilia in my reef tank i hope you enjoyed the eye candy i showed you and have a great day all right thanks again for watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and hit my logo also turn on that notification bell to get further updates and if you haven't seen any of these videos go ahead and click and watch thank you